You stand in the presence of Daenerys Stormborn of House Targaryen, rightful heir to the Iron Throne, rightful Queen of the Andals and the First Men, protector of the Seven Kingdoms, the Mother of Dragons, the Khaleesi of the Great Grass Sea, the Unburnt, the Breaker of Chains. Yes, 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 and I am Dr. J of the Comic Universe, keeper of pop culture, friend to all nerds, and breaker of nerd stereotypes. Greetings, lords and ladies. I'm Dr. J from the Comic Universe. <laughs> I've got a PhD in pop culture, and I should know. I printed it out myself. What's up, guys? How you doing? And as you can see, I'm riding solo here on this video. Welcome to the Comic Universe, the web's first must-see comic and nerd culture show. So, Game of Thrones Season 8 is finally here. We had our first episode a couple days ago, and Samuel Tarley posed an interesting question to the entire fandom, not just to Jon Snow. Does Daenerys Targaryen, Queen of the Andals, Protector of the Realm, Khaleesi of the Great Grass Sea, the Unburnt, the Breaker of Change, the Mother of Dragons, deserve the Iron Throne? That's the question we're here to answer today, because we all know how it goes when you play the Game of Thrones, right? There are only two outcomes. What were they again? When you play the Game of Thrones, you win or you die. There is no middle ground. Right. That's it. Thank you, Queen Cersei. Much appreciated. So, will Danny win the Game of Thrones? And does she deserve the Iron Throne? That is the question we are here to ponder today. And honestly... I will give you guys my answer and then you guys tell me if you agree or what your opinion is in the comments down below. Okay, so Daenerys fans are probably going to hate me from this, but I'm just going to speak my opinion here. I honestly do not believe that Daenerys deserves the Iron Throne. Now, I'm not going to list a whole bunch of candidates to who deserves it other than her but I will kind of answer Sam's question of does she deserve it or does John because John is the rightful heir I honestly think John deserves it more now hear me out on this one so comparing the two characters John Snow had nothing and he did not have any inclination towards royalty or titles his entire life. He was born a bastard. The best he could have hoped for was a position high in the Night's Watch. Daenerys, on the other hand, she grew up as a princess. She grew up knowing that she deserved a title. And that was her goal from the very beginning. Yes, in the beginning she was used as a pawn for her brother to get his army, and then after her brother was killed, the party followed her. But once she got those dragons and she received the title of Unburnt and Khaleesi, that was when she started down her path, truly. And that is one of the reasons why I don't think she deserves it, because she wants the power. She's always wanted the power. Now, I know some of you guys might be saying, but she freed the slaves. She did all this good stuff. She tried to liberate Marine, which is this notorious slave city and stuff like that. That's all good. That's good signs of a ruler. She's going to be a just queen. No, she's not. And I'll tell you exactly why. She did not free these slaves because of some moral obligation. Yes, it is the morally right thing to do, and it makes her look good, for sure. But she freed those slaves because she knew a majority of them would follow her out of obligation and gratitude for giving her their freedom. 
Now, Masande has mentioned before that if she wanted to go home, Daenerys would give her a ship and just wish her good fortune. I don't believe she would. I believe that she would manipulate Masande and be like, okay, after all I did for you, you can go ahead and go home. I guess that's fine. And then Masande will be like, no, you're right. I should stay here. That's the type of person I think Daenerys is. Daenerys has always wanted her power. And I don't know. She isn't the type to take being questioned well. Take, for example, what happened at the Field of Fire Part 2. You know, whatever they called it. The Loot Train episode. And... You had these people who refused to bend the knee to her. What did she do? She burned them alive. A little bit extreme when you're trying to win over the hearts and minds of men. You know who else did that? Mad King Ares Targaryen. He did that to Rickard and Brandon Stark. John's grandfather on his mother's side, and John's uncle on his mother's side. So, yeah. Let's go over John really quick as a character. Like I said, Jon Snow, he has never desired power, but he is a great leader who is often forced into these positions to help and to protect the realm. Protect the realm. Protector of the Realm is one of the titles given to the ruler of the Seven Kingdoms. And that is all Jon really wants to do as a person. That's what he feels his role is in this world. And that's why I think he is the better choice here. Now, when Jon faced unrest and people who refused to follow him, he did not kill them. The only ones he killed were people that outright betrayed him that would definitely be a threat to the realm as a whole because they would cause unrest and like civil war throughout the organization of the Night's Watch and they did not need that when they had the army of the dead to deal with. So John knows when to swing the sword and carry out the sentence, um, as Ned Stark would say. Jon is one of the most honorable characters in the show. Now, I know what you're thinking. This is a George R. R. Martin show. There's no way Jon Snow's gonna make it. So, here's a little bonus theory. And this might get a little crazy, you might disagree with me here. But I think Daenerys isn't gonna deserve the Iron Throne. So, what's the other option when you play the Game of Thrones? You win or you die. And I think that Daenerys is going to realize that Jon is the one who truly deserves the Iron Throne. And when the Night King attacks, she will sacrifice herself and she will become Jon's Nisa Nisa, if you are familiar with the Azor Ahai legend from Game of Thrones lore. And that will give Jon the power to finally defeat the Night King. And my theory is that in order to keep balance between the living and the dead, the dead will need a ruler now that the Night King is vanquished. Because the dead don't just go away when the Night King is killed. I mean, they could probably do the whole Phantom Menace thing. If So if they kill the Night King, all the White Walkers are gone. But I highly doubt that's going to happen. That would be way too convenient. But, you know, I think they're going to need a ruler to fill that power vacuum. And so I think Daenerys will become the new Night Queen and Jon will help rule the living. And so they will both be alive, although one in a more technical sense, but they'll be apart She'll have to rule with her dragons in the land of always winter because I also believe the dragons will all eventually die as well because they basically represent nuclear weapons and this has always been an anti-war story. So her and her dragons will rule the lands of always winter while Jon and his people 
will rule the Seven Kingdoms. But I do not think John will take the Iron Throne. I think John will actually try for change. Because he says titles, all titles do is make people want more power. So I think what John will do is he will have, not necessarily a democracy, but kind of a massive council of the seven kingdoms. So where all the kingdoms will have a say in their territory and the realm as a whole. And he will help to kind of lead them, but he won't have total power over them. Think of it as like a president versus a king. That's what I think it's going to be leading to. But again, that's just my personal theory. Let me know all your theories, thoughts, and feels in the comments down below. Do you agree with my theory? Do you think Daenerys deserves the Iron Throne? Do you think Jon deserves it? Who do you think deserves the Iron Throne? Let me know who and your justification in the video's comments. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. I am planning on doing more Game of Thrones content as the season goes on. If inspiration hits, I might hit you guys with even more theories and stuff like that, especially if you guys like it. So be sure to hit that like button as well. Like I said, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you get notified every time we upload new videos. Myself, DPZ, and C-Dubs. And in the outro card, I will leave linked our latest upload as well as a video YouTube mysterious algorithm thinks you might like, which I hope you do. Until next time, travel safely, my friends. Peace.